Hello again, this is Josette Huang, DYW of Hawaii. Today, I will be talking about how to build your self-confidence. I think that one of the most important lessons that anyone can learn is self-love and how to be comfortable and confident in their own skin. Number one, take care of yourself. One aspect of DYW's Be Your Best Self promise is to be healthy. I think that this applies not only to your physicality, but also to mind and spirit. Eat yourself good food, sleep in an appropriate amount, get outside as much as possible, and don't forget your sunscreen because if you're like me, you look peachy from sunburn almost constantly. And dress in something that makes you go, damn girl, you look fine. Limit your technology time, repeat affirmations in the mirror each morning and night, journal, surround yourself with happy and kind people, and whatever other self-care things you can think of. Number two, get to know yourself. You might think you know who you are, but once people start asking you, like they did when I was preparing for interview, what motivates you, what your favorites are, what your love language is, what your hopes and dreams are, what you believe to be your purpose in life, what your valuables, values sorry, and principles are, you might find out you don't really know. Take time to figure out what your answers are to those questions. Also see 36 questions that lead to love are... You'll discover pretty quickly that you're a very interesting person who serves an important purpose in this life and that will help you build your self-confidence. Number three, give more of yourself to others. Not in an unhealthy way, but you should strive to be that person who you would describe as kind and generous. Community service and involvement has been so gratifying for myself. I actually found my own purpose through volunteering and that's what makes me happy and has defined my future path. Number four, empower yourself with knowledge. Read books and newspapers, talk to people, conduct research, take a class. The more knowledge you have, the more power and self-confidence you'll have. In my own personal experience, the people I've enjoyed the most are those who are most knowledgeable because they're always the most self-assured, empathetic, humble, and all things wonderful people. Number five, practice gratitude. For those of you who know me, you'll know that my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving, and it's because it's the only time of the year where everyone, in America at least, reflects on and celebrates what they're grateful for. At the end of each day, practice saying at least three things you want to express gratitude for and why. You'll notice a huge difference in your perspective on life. As always, please, please, please contact me if you have any questions or just want to chat. Here's my contact info. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video, and I can't wait to see you next month.